Welcome back, friends. Today, we're going to be talking about another piece of gear that we really like a lot around here in our workshop. This bad boy, this Hiwak Custom 20 here. Check it out. So, a little backstory about this amp. This amp belonged to a close friend of mine here in town, and I craved it. I craved it fortnightly, like Mike Myers' dad, and so I married an axe murderer, talking about Colonel Sanders' chicken. He played with this at a practice space I would go to, and I just fell in love with it, and one day when we wanted to work out a trade, I was like, I'd like that custom 20 high watt. That thing is dreamy. This thing sounded amazing and is also super manageable at about 20 watts. Sounds great. It's got two EL84 tubes in here, and it's just a really interesting amp. And I want to talk a little bit about what makes this different from other things that I've played with and why I like it so much. It vexes me. Like Commodus. I'm vexed. <laughs> So for one, the first thing I really like about this amp is that it's a very manageable 20 watts. If you turn this thing up to around noon, you get it going, and it's loud and it's cooking, but it's not beating up your ears too bad, whether you're running this into a 412 cabinet, a 112, or this 410 that we have here that we really like. This thing is very manageable as a studio or club amp, and it just, it just has something. It has just a really cool personality. I'll show a little bit more about that and how the EQ kind of works, and how it behaves differently with different guitars. I think that's a really cool thing about this amp. So when I got this amp, my first attempt at dialing this up was not that great. I tried to think of it kind of like how I would dial up a Fender or a Marshall when I'm trying to keep it clean and pedal friendly. So I was, you know, running, you know, gain kind of low, and uh, most things kind of around 12 o'clock, but with the treble little cut and maybe a little bit more middle, and it just wasn't that spectacular. Then I was messing with the thing, and Ben comes in, and Ben is like, what are you doing? You know, and he comes over to here and he cranks the gain a little bit to handle a lower powered thing. I think he plugged in his jazz master. He plugs the cranks the gain a little bit, gets it cooking a little, you know, gets the bass up a little bit, the middle a little down, treble a little up. And it was just way more interesting. And I realized that this thing responds very differently than a lot of other amps that we've played with. I almost feel like this is one of those amps where if you get anchored to your expectations of what the amp should sound like, it actually works against you. I almost feel like I get better sounds out of this thing if I don't even look at the settings and we just turn knobs randomly. <laughs> like, In fact, I'm going to do that as an experiment right now. I'm just going to block off my eyes and Ben's going to come here and change the settings right now. So here we go. And I'm going to play something. I'm just not even going to look. Ben's just going to do settings, and I'll figure something out. I'm going to figure something out. Yeah, let me know when to roll in, and I can go. <laughs> Didn't even look. Oh yeah. <laughs> Those are great. 
one thing we realized that's really powerful about this amp is the EQ. I mean, it really affects things. And one funny thing we discovered with this amp is when we turn the EQ all the way down, check this out. You could turn the master and the input gain all the way up, and this is all you're going to get. Hello? 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 Nothing happened? That's how powerful these EQ controls are in this amp. It really has a big effect on things. Keeping in mind that with how this thing behaves differently, if you're used to amps being a little bit agnostic as to which guitar you're using, you know, just sort of like slightly changing the frequency response, whether you're using a guitar with humbuckers versus a single coil or something like that, or a Gibson style guitar versus a Fender style one, this amp will vex you because you can dial up settings that sound amazing for like one type of guitar and then you plug another guitar into it and it's just not that great. So keep in mind that it responds in a really fun way very differently to what you plug into it and just be willing to change those settings on the fly to get the most out of whatever you plug into it. So to show how this amp responds differently to different guitars, we got this Custom Shop SG here and when we plugged it in, you're going to have to take our words for it. Uh, it didn't sound great with the settings that we had set up for the Strat, but once we optimized it for this guitar, it sounded great. So check it out. So in conclusion, we like an amp that challenges the way you think and play a little bit. That might get you to discover some different things that you might not have dialed out otherwise from a different kind of amp. I gotta really recommend this High Watt Custom 20. It's been kind of an adventure and it's kind of turned us on to some different things and some different approaches to gain and voicing and things. And we really kind of dig it. So get a chance to try one out. Thanks. What's up, friends? Thanks for watching our video on this badass High Watt Custom 20. We dug this amp a lot. We hope you will too. And we're going to keep making videos about stuff that, hey, if we care about it, maybe you will too. Who knows? Maybe dozens of you will watch. Anyway, we have some things for sale as well in the description, some fun stuff we've discovered. We have the return of the Lo-Fi Wi-Fi shirt. More Lo-Fi! More lo-fi. It's blocking my voice. More lo-fi. We have hoodies. We found a few extra hoodies, so hope you all hit the link and grab those. And in our B-Stock uh, refurb pile, we have not one, but two kilobytes in the OG graphics for sale at a discount. If you're a guy who wants a kilobyte, but you're not crazy about that Commodore 64 vibe of the Second version, this is the original graphic version. Hope you all dig it. Thanks for following. See you around.